So for this one, we'll do the kettlebells just because of the rack position. A lot of the time, I'll kind of have it a little bit wider at first, and then bring it into my sides like so. Okay, and we have our choice. We can either do a double press. So we're gonna first take a quick note of our position. We want to make sure our spine is all the way down on the ground, so we're not arching away from the floor. So ribs stay down. That's the other thing. So again, not flaring up towards the ceiling. Okay, we can have the knees bent. So about 90 degrees with the knee bend, feet flat. And then from here, basically, the main thing is we want to make sure our shoulder position is comfortable. So we're not starting with our shoulders up by our ears. Keep them down. So you're attaching that shoulder to the rib cage with that lat connection, basically. So it's all stable and powerful to be able to push off. Because we're not just driving with the arms and shoulders, right? We're trying to get chest and lat, everything kind of working together to press through and up and generate force. Okay? So... We're going to find our start position. And now you can either do it elbows in close to the sides, kind of like a tricep push up, or you can go a little bit of a 45 degree angle, your choice. We're going to breathe in, exhale up. Breathe in, hold down with control, exhale up. So on our up, we're pushing with a little bit more power, on the down, we're controlling the eccentric. And if we want to start working on our timing, we can breathe in, tap at the bottom, come right off the top. So breathe in, tap, straight back up. Okay? Now we've got a couple variations on that. We can do our single arm, or we can do our alternating. So, your choice. Single arm is going to be a nice change up because it's now a little bit more anti-rotation component. Um, alternating arm, you can even do an alternating iso hold. So, I'll show you that one really quick. In that case, I'm going to start by pressing up with one arm. And then I'm going to use my opposite arm for the rest. So I'm going to breathe in. Exhale up. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just giving myself a little extra time under tension for that arm that's remaining up the whole time. And that's it, that's your floor press variations, okay? Um, one other, actually, in case you want to play around with it and you have kettlebells, you can also do the bottoms up, which is a great intermuscular one. You'll want a slightly lighter belt for that, potentially. Chest defense now, you're challenging the grip as well. So, for this, one hand at a time. Same thing, I'm gonna find my position here, get a good grip. Opposite hands here in case I need it to keep it from falling on my face. Up with control. Down with control. Now the bottoms up is great because it starts teaching you a good tracking pattern. And it'll also start firing up your motor control because it has to try to figure out what is the most efficient way to stabilize that kettlebell. Okay? So just some uh, press variations. Food for thought.